Please welcome Luiz Faria. Good afternoon. Let me start by introducing ourselves, saying that EDP is a Portuguese and global energy company operating on the electric and gas sector. But EDP Foundation is a non-profit organization that is implementing corporate social responsibility projects worldwide, namely access to energy for development. Our focus is energy, and I think it's important to underline that for the second year running, EDP was distinguished by Dow Jones Sustainability Index. We are the electric utility number one in the world for sustainability, the best in class in social activities. When we look to the future, we see every single family in the world with access to energy. And this vision takes us also to a huge and present challenge. That is, today, one-fifth of the humankind do not have access to electricity. That's why we think that energy access should be in the top priority of the international agenda. We all know that energy consumption and energy access is a key driver for development. And it's also true that energy is strictly related with human development. So we consider that fighting energy poverty is a quick win to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. And if we look closer, we can see that access to energy in remote schools is the difference between a children reading with candles or children, children made their, making their homework with electric lighting, assessing computers and internet and having more job opportunities. Access to energy in remote clinics is the difference between uncontrolled diseases and, in the other hand, better health services with vaccines refrigeration, with medical equipment sterilization. Access to energy for water pumping is the difference between extremely anger and, in other end, water for food production and agricultural development. Access to energy in remote villages may be the difference between completely darkness after sunset and more security with street lighting, more income generation activities, more women empowerment. In the last three years, EDP Foundation is giving the example. We are implementing sustainable solar energy projects in off-grid villages in developing countries. We started in 2010 in Kenya, in Kakuma Refugee Camp, under a partnership with the UN Refugee Agency, where, imp where we implemented a sustainable solar energy project that benefited more than 6,000 refugees. Last year, we were in Guinea-Bissau, supporting the electrification of 15 schools in 50, di in, with, in 15 different villages. And today, we are working in Angola with a huge sustainable solar project delivering technologies and supporting the a local capacity building for sustainability in a project that will benefit 500 households and up to 3,000 people. Developing Local capacity is also very important because it's the difference between just delivering technology or delivering sustainable projects. Sustainability on operations, supporting local communities to implement the fee-for-service model and creating revolving funds, but also sustainability on technical issues, 
training local technicians to become the maintainers of the solar solutions. Finally, I think it's important to say that we are now committed with the future. EDP Foundation had just committed with the Sustainable Energy for All initiative. Following the call of the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, we are committed for the next three years to implement new projects and new partnerships to deliver access to energy in developing countries, raising awareness, making advocacy near governments of developing countries, implementing solar energy solutions, make, building local capacity, and searching for new financial partners in order to fundraise money near public and private organizations to implement these projects. But most of all, our aim in the next three years is to benefit more than 50,000 new people. Thank you very much.